I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I'm with Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about they left me for their ex. Uh oh. This is something that does come up yes. pretty often yes. that the person that you've been dating winds up going back to an ex. Right. And there are a lot of reasons why that can happen. Um, sometimes there's uh, children involved. Right. And sometimes, you know, they weren't truly over them, hadn't moved on. Right. But for whatever reason, they've left you, they've gone back to their ex, and these can be tricky situations. Yes, they can because there's more than two people involved here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a lot of different things and different dynamics that could be involved here. So uh, I've got two emails here today. Okay. And the first one, I didn't tell you about this, I got a really nice thank you email. So I That's thought I would nice. surprise you uh, reading it because I know how you love to get the positive feedback. So they said, Dear Craig, I so deeply enjoyed our phone conversation as I don't have Skype. You are a pleasure to work with and I am doing everything you advise. I took notes and realized my situation may take many months as I am embarrassed that my husband moved in with a younger woman so quickly after 26 years with me. I want to thank you for your compassion and empathy you gave me along with how to proceed. I'm going to sign up for another phone session with you to reinforce what you told me and learn more of your insights. I watched the videos you suggested and I just want to extend my deepest thank you to you. I was hoping you might do a video of breakups of couples who have been in long-term relationships where people have been together in decades. And I look forward to our next phone chat. Thank you ever so much for all you do to help humanity. How very nice. And I thought you would want to hear that I because... I do want to hear that. I it, know how hard you work. And you helped me get here, so yes. that is a testament well, thank you. to everything that you've Good. taught me. So I do appreciate getting those uh, emails from you guys. I love to hear um, different things from you. And, you know, thank yous to both me and Barton, both Margaret and how we've impacted you. So anytime you want to send that and a success email, you know, just go to my website and my email is on there. We love to share success stories. Absolutely. So anytime you got one, we want to hear from you, right? So the next email, this one was a little bit complicated and here's why. I didn't email coaching with this guy mm -hmm. and I thought his situation would have been good for an email or a video uh, and so he told me that he didn't want his situation in his video. So I mentioned at the end of it, I said, hey, look, you know, I thought yours was good for a video. And, you know, it's a shame you didn't want me to share it. Well, about a week or two goes by and he said, you know what? He, he signed up for a second email coaching. He said, I would like you to share it. So I, I kind of took the first email coaching and the second one and I put them together a little bit. So we could share it and get a whole, you know, idea okay. of the big picture Good. of what happened. Good for him, too. Um, but I think this is going to be a really helpful one. Because there are a lot of people that get left for somebody else. And Rebounds happen a lot. And, but sometimes it's an X. Yeah. So you really can't look it at it as quite an a rebound. X as a rebound. Yeah, right. uh, so this is what he said. He said, I would like to take the time to thank you. I've watched a bunch of videos off of YouTube over the past year and you have the best videos on relationship advice. You seem like you really care about the material that you put out. You're a very inspiring person and your videos are motivational. Thank Good. you. So this is how he starts. He said, she left me for her ex-husband. Mm -hmm. This is my second time writing you this year. After taking your advice, she came back to me two months later and I cannot thank you enough for that but unfortunately I couldn't keep her and she left me two weeks ago oh dear how frustrating for the second time yeah I couldn't keep her I wonder what he means by that 
Well, I don't know. I mean, I wonder if he had stayed as motivated and was trying to work on himself and those issues that weren't going well the first time no, around. No. This is a couple in their mid-30s, and they dated for almost four years. Wow. Uh, it was long distance, part of the time, and at one point they were engaged. And he said he would go to visit her every few months. Okay? He said, she deleted me and pictures of us together off social media, but left pictures from our vacations on there. I just feel bad because she really was the love of my life and we both experienced things with each other that neither of us had ever done before in our relationship. I will try to move on, but deep down, I love her and her daughter so much. I know this is not up to me. It would have to be her decision. Good for him. She was on and off with her ex. Married, split up, got together, and then split up again. She told me she left him because he really wasn't a good father to the daughter, and all he wanted to do was play video games. That wouldn't be very exciting over time. No. So it sounds like maybe he spent most of his time just engulfed in video games, ignoring the daughter, ignoring, ignoring her, and she probably got fed up with it yeah. over time. I met her in 2013. Then we got together shortly after. Me and her been four years and engaged since the end of 2015, but we also split up a couple of times ourselves. She is very insecure. She makes little things 100 times bigger than what they are, and she always brings up the past to win an argument. So, he thinks she might be cheating? Is that in there somewhere? Doesn't sound like it yet. Okay, but she makes little things into big things. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she brings up the past to win an argument, which is manipulation. Right. Right? And we I, don't, I never knew anyone who ever did that. <laughs> I, had, I knew a couple one time who said they had reached an agreement to keep it in this decade. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, they went on a trip together. She was on a... They went on a trip together? I think you meant to say we. Okay. They went on a trip together. She was on her period the first half of the vacation. She had a very bad stomach issues pretty much the remainder of the vacation and was in pain. But we both had fun and enjoyed our time together there. So, in his mind, she's on her period, so she doesn't want to be intimate with him. No sex, she's right? not feeling well. Yeah. Before the vacation, when I picked her up at her house, I noticed she had an old family picture of her, her daughter, and her ex-husband turned over. Ah. Uh, That's interesting. Okay. It was in the living room. I played it cool. After the vacation was over, I returned back overseas. I noticed, once I returned back, that she became short and distant towards me and didn't want to talk with me. I asked her what was wrong, then she said she was mad at me for not trying to have sex with her on vacation and that I'm cheating on her. Oh my, talk about you can't win. It sounded like he was pretty sympathetic. He was disappointed, but pretty sympathetic. Mm -hmm. And now she's mad at him. Yeah. Okay. It sounds to me like she's projecting. Yeah. She's cheating and on you're him. And you're cheating, yeah. And she's saying, you're doing the very thing that I'm accusing you of. Right. That's been known to happen. <laughs> a lot. It's an interesting phenomenon, isn't, isn't it? it? I'm accusing you of what I'm doing, because if I do it, surely you would. What do you think that is? Is that in our unconscious? What, what do you think is going on there? I think it's in our unconscious. And if we're not happy with the behavior, it's wonderful to put the behavior on somebody else and then yell at them. We feel better, even though we're equally guilty, because we've yelled at this bad behavior in somebody else. Interesting. Because I've had, you know, uh, girlfriends do that to me, accuse right. me of doing things right. that they were doing. Right. Not necessarily cheating. Yeah. But doing whatever, yes, and, and I think that's always a bit of a red flag. If you're being accused of something and there's little reason for it, that's not okay. Just take note. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on there, yeah, right? Yeah. But that's, this is a huge leap, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, all of a sudden... Unless there's more we don't know. I mean, if they're on vacation together, what? Why would he, you know, she, why would she think that it's, it doesn't even make any sense? Why would he not want to... It also doesn't sound like they talked about it. 
which is not the way to do things. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could have sex with you tonight, but my stomach's killing me. Or, okay, or that's maybe, clear enough. Interesting. Or maybe it's almost like an admission of guilt. Like, I don't want to have sex with you because I'm cheating on you. Yeah, right. It, right? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> um, during an argument, she said, here's a key sta statement right here. She needs to do what's best for her daughter. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that is a... Well, he was pretty sharp picking up the picture. Yeah. I thought, good for him. That was kind of a foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you kind of knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. He sees, saw the pattern. Something in his gut must have told him. Yeah. You know, but that I think is a key statement. She needs to do what's best for her daughter. Mm -hmm. What does that sound like? Sounds like guilt to me. It sounds like the poor daughter to me because we don't know how many times she's been through this. We don't, no. but we do know it's been quite a few. Yeah, we do. She's very insecure and I made her feel even more insecure. She went above and beyond to make herself look good. She got her, nail, her ha hair done, nails done, and even went to the gym the last two months before I came home to look good for me. I wonder if someone else noticed that. <laughs> Maybe online? Maybe an ex? Maybe an ex? <laughs> I told her the reason that I didn't try was because we were so busy on vacation doing things, plus she wasn't feeling good most of the vacation, so I didn't try, and I apologized to her and prom promised that romance will be the priority the next time I came home. But she said I wasn't attracted to her and said she'd rather be by herself since she feels so unloved. He never said he wasn't attracted to her. And I'm still stuck on they didn't discuss the sex issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, wouldn't you say, I don't know, you may even make jokes. Wouldn't you know? Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden she's saying, You're not attracted to me. You're not attracted to me. Could again that be more projecting? I'm not it attracted be, to you? It can be, but it's not okay however you look at it because it's a huge apparently. Mm -hmm. The next day she lost her job of six years and she has a daughter who is in elementary school. So she can't take care of her and she's depressed even more. I wrote her saying, I want to help you out with anything you need in your hard time. She read it, then replied hours later saying thank you. After three days of no contact, she deletes our relationship status off of, off of social media. Okay. That's another huge leap. That's huge, yeah. From after three days, all of a sudden she just breaks up with him through social media? He didn't send her his bank account, I guess. I don't know what's going on there, but you obviously... Know, something... I see why he's confused. Mm -hmm. Sure. I wrote her one last time saying I'm sorry and admitted my wrongs and that I truly know how bad I made you feel as a woman. We haven't heard those wrongs. He's, take, he's saying because he didn't have sex with her on the trip, he feels like it's, his, it's all his fault. I don't think so. No. I told her she's a good woman and she needs someone that's going to treat her better, and I agreed to her breakup and wished her the best of luck. Very gracious, good for him. She replied saying, I was right about everything that I said and that I will always be there for her and that I always provided for her, but there was more she needed than she wished me the best. But she didn't communicate that to him at all either. No. Now I'm seeing on social media that she's trying to work out things with her ex-husband. Yeah, you knew that was coming. Which right. was the daughter's yeah. father. They were together for nine years before they separated. Wow. I wonder what happened. I don't know. Well, we know the whole video games that he wasn't a good dad. Yeah. And she must have been fed up with that. And certainly unromantic if he was busy with video games all the time. Yeah. I bet he's being romantic now. But he is. She seems happy that they're family, uh, that they're a family again, and even went out and got his name or his last name tattooed on her the other day, which is only two weeks after the breakup. Two weeks later, she goes and gets his last name tattooed on her. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, he must be devastated and shocked. Right. How could you not be? Yeah. 
Oh, yes, I see why he's confused and devastated. Yes, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine someone leaves you after four years and two weeks later they're getting the other person's name tattooed on them? Make you wonder if they ever loved you. Right. Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't make you feel good. Um, but, you know, for someone to do, I mean, she's jumping from... Yeah, she's jumping from here to there. And, and then at such a high level. I mean, it's almost, it's, it's like delusional. It's, yes, it is. And she doesn't just date people, she marries them. So it gets very, very serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for her to jump right back into the relationship and get a guy's name tattooed is so, it's such a fantasy, right? Yes, it is, right. She was the love of my life, but I know my situation is hopeless. Will she ever reach out to me again, is one question. I think that it would definitely have to fall apart with the other guy. I think so too. I mean. And then she may remember that he said he'd always be there for her. But I don't know if she ever loved anybody here. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. Very interesting. But I definitely, um, I definitely think she is, because he says, what are her thoughts towards me? And I think she's probably not thinking about this guy too much right now. Right. She's in a fantasy. She certainly is. That's going to be okay if she does this. Everything will be fine. Yep. And she doesn't care about how it's affecting him how he's feeling, how he's doing. All she's caring about is the new, the ex is making me feel good again and I'm doing it for my daughter. Or maybe that's just an excuse. She may have felt guilty. Yeah, there's probably some guilt there. But she doesn't make a lot of sense. At least not the way it's described. No. You know? And I don't know whether he's saying there he thinks he did some wrong things or he really doesn't and he's just not going to argue with her. I don't quite know, do you? It seems like he's, he really thinks that this is about not making her feel attractive as a woman. And he's taking all the responsibility. Yeah. And I don't think it's... No, I think, I it, I think he was, she was talking to this guy well before the trip. And he said earlier that he the, thought she was very insecure. Yes. The picture frame was down before they went on the vacation. That guy was already in the he picture. Was, he was done then. Yeah. She was done. Well, he, he was too. He didn't know it. Oh, yeah. He was done. He didn't know it. Yeah, okay. But, okay. He was done then. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Huh? Um, so she says, is she truly happy? Well, when your mind is getting all the dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, yeah. you're on such a drug high yeah, right you are now. now. Yeah, Yeah, of course she's feeling good. Yeah. Uh, but is that true happiness? Well, it sounds like she's been trying to establish a stable true happiness and has not been able to. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think it's more of fantasy than anything I else. Too. Yeah. Is this considered a rebound since she was with him nine years and got a daughter together? Yeah, well, something like that. Mm, yeah, rebound is like somebody new that you... No, I think a rebound... Well, I don't see this as a rebound. Okay. I see, I mean, this is... Sh this is comfort and this is guilt kind of wrapped together. And you know that guy was probably making a play at her behind the scenes. What? Because remember, he was long distance a lot of the time. Okay. I was thinking about that too. They didn't spend all that much time. No, together. they didn't. No. Only if every a couple of Only months. Only every couple of months. And he says, "What are the chances their new relationship will work out?" It's not new. It's a, uh, an old new or right. new old. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's very difficult to know. She doesn't seem to me that she knows what she wants. Right now, she does though. Yeah, I, I think, think right she now she's convinced that yeah. this is going to work, yeah. she's going to make it work, and until all of the chemicals come down in both their brains, her and the, the ex, um, who she's now with, they're going to ignore all the red flags of the past Absolute. again. Oh yeah, they're going to have a honeymoon. Yep, yeah, They're going to exactly. have a nice honeymoon. And this little kid is not going to be too happy at some point. No. And I can see a 15-year-old right now saying, Mom, make up your mind. <laughs> but... Um, Will it work out with him again? Probably not. Probably not, because I don't think this lady knows yet what's going to make her happy. No, and I don't think that... I think that she's living in a fantasy of who the ex yeah. is again. Right. So... There the may be somebody behind him. We don't know that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I would say that, you know, once it falls apart with that ex again, she'll probably revisit going back to him again. And besides, he said he'd always be there if she was in financial trouble. Mm -hmm. So, 
That could happen. It's, it's not right because, you know, obviously she walked away and she made him feel like he was responsible yep. for the breakup and it was all his fault. And now she's happy, living in her fantasy world. He's devastated, wanting her to come back. And then when she falls apart with this guy again, she probably will. She probably and here, will. And then here he is, so excited and happy to have her back. And it's like... Yeah, but this could go on forever. Uh, it, yeah, you don't want one of those. You don't want it on again, off again. It, it never works. Yeah, so this is a really tough situation, but I think that this guy should probably um, really consider just moving on so and not working this out with her because she's got a lot of unresolved issues with that ex. Very clear, very clear. And so she's not ready to commit to something. I mean, but she can walk away from long-term relationships. How long was she with the guy she was married to? Nine years. Nine years, and then four years with this man? Yep. If it doesn't work out in that amount of time... Yeah, she can do long-term. Uh, long um, but, you know, to, their, to some extent, their relationship was a fantasy, too, because he yes. only saw her every few yes, months. Yes, he was overseas. Yeah. And then, you know, this guy comes back, you're so beautiful, I'm so sorry, I miss you, I just want my family back, all that yada 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 nonsense. And you didn't make me feel loved enough in the little time you had. So, tough situation. Tough situation. I'm sorry for that kid. Yep. I'm sorry for this guy. Yep, they're both the victims. Yeah. And she's going to continue to, I think, to act this way. Until or unless, yeah, something happens for her to mm -hmm. get some insight. But, you know, it's tough because very often... Your ex will leave you for their ex. And this is a very unusual situation yes. and yes. very unique. Yes. So, um, you know, whatever's going on in your situation, it's probably better to talk about it, something this complicated, right. you know. Um, and I would definitely suggest signing up for a Skype to talk about oh, this. Oh, definitely for him, yeah, to protect himself. Because there's a lot going on here. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of people involved. This is a lot of hurt involved. And nobody is separating and grieving and moving on. Everybody's just sort of getting back into the game in a different, yeah. Yeah, very sad. Yeah, okay, yes, indeed. So, um, you know, when, when you're in a situation like that, you know, at least sign up for an email coaching, but I really suggest the Skype for something this complicated and complex. Well, because you get the, the reactions from each other, it's much better. Absolutely. Um, but that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret, and I will talk with you soon.